Hello there, my friends. Tim Lee, Legacy Music Studio, part of the Legacy Studio network of YouTube channels. You can check all that out in the description below. And of course, I'll talk more about that in a minute. But we're doing another music reaction video today to Roundabout by Yes. I believe that's the case. Another suggestion through our Discord, finally getting down to a couple extra reactions. If you do enjoy this, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, especially subscribe because we are moving a lot of our content from Legacy Studio, my main channel, to our other seven YouTube channels. I'm not even kidding. So let's get in with this reaction here. Roundabout by Yes. This is the original from 1971. Let's go. harmonics Ooh. Oh. wow Oh yeah this song I love this. I know what this is. I'll be the roundabout. The words will make you out and out. I'll spend the day away. Call it morning, driving through the sun and in and out the valley. Love it. Especially that. Musicality of this. Oh, man. Someone's got some trippy fingers. I rest my case. Crazy harmonies.
crazy though. It just takes you on such a crazy journey and then just goes <laughs> sucks it all back up and this is what you're at. I keep talking about how much bands in the day focused so much on um, just the crazy din. Really wanting a lack of control to then bring things back into control. We do that these days with drops. The, the song has gone from one bit to a completely different everything. I want to see if they turn it back around or if they're... If you're on a journey with them, like, to, like you're like in three different songs in one song. Beautiful. Wow. I love it. No recall to the beginning of a song. No recall to what the what everyone knows. Still beautiful than my word. Listen to that bass go. Oh, oh, are we coming back? Are we coming back? There it is. Nice recall. So good. Crazy. You change everything about the song. Well, we want to put this one part in here that has nothing to do with anything else right here. Oh, is that the end? Oh, oh, ending on a major when a lot of this song is written in the minor. Oh, wow. Okay, hey, really quick before we talk a little bit more about this, let's go ahead and tell you a little bit about the Legacy Studio Network. I want to let you know that Legacy Studio is a network of YouTube channels that I've created over the years with over 1,500 videos of all kinds. And if you're enjoying this content, I would love to invite, invite, invite you, invite you to join me on some of the other content I've made on a few of my other channels. That it would be perfect for you. Now, Legacy Studio is a Christian-owned and operated YouTube network, and I've been making content here since 2010. So this is family-friendly content for most ages. Um. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm so 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 stuck.
Okay, what a killer song. What a killer song. I'm not going to play all the way back through it, um, I, because honestly, I don't know how to give much of a reaction. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a reaction video, frankly. Uh, and yes, this is absolutely a subscription and click grab. So if you found my channel here, I make music here on my channel and would love for you to get subscribed here. And if you've seen any of my other work, it would mean a lot if you get subscribed and uh, hit that like button. I deeply appreciate it. So if you enjoyed this reaction, um, it's not the first time I've heard it, but I got to say it's not the first time I've heard the – it is the first time I've heard the entire song. We all know that do 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 probably made popular by the one and the only TikTok, which there is only one and only. I'm not a fan of TikTok personally. But um, absolutely, we all recognize that do 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 I'd say it's been sampled all over the place for other people's music um, and for – everything else so getting to hear the original piece and to see what became popular versus all the other beautiful rhythmic stuff that's in this thing is really quite ridiculous so i'm just going to go through a random playthrough here first off the whole start of this entire song with nothing and remember the way that they recorded back in the days you had eight tracks to work with Lots of limitations. This is back from 1971. So your your options on how you're going to record it, unlike our digital DAWs, digital audio workstations these days, such a massive difference. So not only is this beautiful in this sense, but it's also beautiful in the sense of how the technicians put it together, how the producers created the song, and how the musicians played the song in the moment to record this. I really, I really do love how iconic songs have come back again because of things like um, TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and shorts. And I don't like shorts. I don't like shorts. I don't like small videos. Um, I get stuck in them, and I hate that I get stuck in them. I like long form, uh, and I want everyone to like long form. I'm, I'm narcissistic enough to think that that's still important. And so... I, 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 but I love the recall, and that's why I love remixes. That's why I love covers. That's why I love all these songs that do utilize other people's work. Not because we're trying to steal from the other artists, but because we're doing an homage to them. Their work comes into our work, which then gives them a recall for their work. And as long as we're telling people, hey, you got to go and look at Yes Roundabout, because this is where I got this sample from. You know, and that's why I absolutely love this and this band and why here and there. We could be doing something absolutely incredible and beautiful for each other when we shout out why we were inspired by these elements. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So good. This, this is so well done. So well done. Let's just jump forward a little bit. I mean, think about how these guys would play this uh, in, in a band scenario, in, in a real live concert scenario and stuff like that. Your musicality has to be up to here, and you got little guys like me making production pieces on a laptop that I'll probably never be able to play again. And all I'm trying to do is create a song and send it into the world where these guys are like, we're going to play this all the time. And we're going to play it to this level all the time. And uh, it's just magical. I rest my case, good heavens. I will remember you. Your silhouette will charge Jump forward. You. The harmonies are crazy. Remember, they didn't have auto-tune back then, so these guys' voices are perfect uh, in what they're trying to do. And uh, you know what? I judge myself so much on my music. I'm trying to sing more in my music, which makes me so antsy because um, I don't know if I like my voice. I don't know if others are going to like my voice. And so I sit here and I listen to these guys and I go, what? Well, they're not singing in key. Why am I so desperate to get every single note perfectly in key? Uh, and, and not only that, there's something beautiful about individuality, and I'm trying to remove my individuality individuality, with all my effects and things that I'm trying to put into my music. Where these guys... Beautiful and raw.
can you imagine the jam session where they sat down and they're like, all right, we're going to work on a song. Now, I got this cool little groove here on the bass. Do, 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 you know. <coughs> Excuse me. So you got them all going, hey, that's great. That's great. But what I want to do is I want to go over here about four minutes into the song, and I want to do something completely different like this. The bass guy's like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I'll riff underneath that with kind of the same thing I was doing. And then, and then, oh, but, but, but wait a minute, over here, I want to go ahead and do this. I totally agree. I'll put some harmonics over top. It'll sound absolutely epic. And then you come forward to six minutes, and I want to do this. At least that's some recall back to what the original was with the bass doing what it was doing. I mean... This whole song, they take you on a trip. Boy, they take you on a trip. And and uh, I'm forgetting the term that I like to usually use, but the idea that music back in that time did several things. It would become consistent and then drop into inconsistency, which I would say is a form of jazz, how jazz kind of riffs off of things and everyone gets their chance to riff. And then the inconsistency comes back around and becomes consistent again. And that that dissonance, that's the word I'm looking for, that dissonance, that disconnect, that then reconnects and disconnects and reconnects, is a constant brain tease. It's like those it's like those spider things that they used to sell at the malls when malls were popular, where they'd like, hey, try this out, and they put it on your head and it does that thing, and you're like, ugh. That's what they're doing here. They're, they're, they're really, really tickling your brain, and then they're causing this dissonance on purpose to then bring that back together and just make your brain go, <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, very, very excellent song. Yes, that's Roundabout, the original from 1971. Hey, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe down below. I usually do a brutal review on these as well. That is technically my brutal review, and I quite enjoyed that. I love going back to old music. So if you have any music to suggest, check out our Discord, where you can go into our idea box and put in your vote. All the instructions are there on how to do that. That way everything's in one place. By while, and by the way, while you're there, take a look at our video upload section. I think it's our video upload section, where you can see all seven of our YouTube channels in one place. That way you can see when new videos come out uh, and you can check out all the crazy stuff I'm doing because I do it all. <laughs> Keep it crispy, my friends. God bless you guys. I love you all so much and so glad to have you here. If you have any input on this song and some of its history, leave it down below. I always enjoy when you include some history. So we'll see you next time right here on Legacy Music Studio, part of the Legacy Studio Network. Like I said, keep it crispy. First Tim 412. God bless. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.